I want to start with your experience working with Mark Andreessen. You talked briefly before we hit record about working with him and the lessons you learned. I think we all know A16Z or A16Z, as you would say in the US and Canadian. So my Zs are, are Zs. <laughs> you seem to learn a lot from him and he's such an incredible leader and well-known person, not just in crypto and Web3, but really in global economy. What was it like working with him? Tell us a little bit about that story. Absolutely. So I worked for Mark Andreessen and Ben Horowitz when they were at their previous company, which was LabCloud and then became Opsware. And for a period of time, my direct boss, who was the head of marketing, went out on maternity leave and they just decided that set aside the fact that Mark said he never wanted to manage anyone and he didn't like it and he was very loudly going to tell everyone that, they decided that he would actually manage the marketing team while she was on maternity leave. So it was actually a lot of fun. Mark just has a, such a different way of thinking about things, and I think he helps others do that as well. So a great example was, you know, we were talking about naming a product, and he said, well, let's think about sushi. And, we, and everyone sort of says, well, what are you talking about? And uh, he said, well, it's sushi. Like, how much more likely are you to buy sushi than you are to buy cold dead fish? Most of you are the same thing, but the marketing and the branding of something is really important. You know, one other thing that he was not afraid to do, and I think still is not afraid to do, is to make mistakes and to make them quickly. He would say, you know, let's make different mistakes, right? Let's not make the same mistakes twice. Let's go try and make different mistakes. And I think that as an organization and as a marketing team that gives you the ability to try a lot of different things and recognize that not all of them will work, but as long as you are continuing to move forward from that, you are going to get better, you are going to innovate, you are going to do things that some people might criticize, but you know, in the long run will turn out good if you are not afraid to continue to make different mistakes. That is such a valuable lesson, especially in a nascent space like blockchain and crypto where everything is under a microscope. We're such a small community right now. And I have I have a bit of a bone to pick with crypto Twitter, I find often, because every time a new project launches, everybody loves to just come down on it and to point out everything that's wrong with it. I don't want to open up the world coin debate or the Twitter X debate right now, but like those are two, I mean, Twitter X isn't it's not Web3 yet, although it seems to be going in that direction with Twitter coins. But there's all these changes and there's these leaders that have the fortitude to make tough decisions and to try things and to experiment. And I think we should be celebrating that, not ridiculing them and pointing out every mistake you made because you're going to make mistakes. You need to make mistakes when there's new tech and you're trying out all these new things. You have to experiment. So I love Absolutely. that. Well, and I think, you know, the other thing that we don't do enough in this industry is sort of consider the wisdom of our elders, right? And think about mm -hmm. the mistakes that have been made in the past and try to not repeat them. Because a lot of times you see people repeating the same mistakes that were made in web one and web two. The number of people who, if you talk about Twitter vitriol, said this marketing team is terrible because they have not agreed to buy the naming rights on a sports stadium. We saw that playbook in Web 1. We saw that on the billboards that you know went up along 101 that drove no ROI. Thinking that you have created the next great idea when you don't actually take those lessons of the past, I think can be equally harmful. 